Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to solve for the variable x. And we are going to be careful because x in each term is in the denominator. That means we want to avoid dividing by 0. And I'll explain further as we go along. Uh, but our first step, uh, my first step, is to multiply by x and 2x plus 1. The reason I'm going to do that is because that's a multiple of each of our denominators. Notice we have the factor x in our first term here, and we have 2x plus 1 right here. I know that 2x squared plus x, if I just quickly factor that over here, well, the common uh, factor in 2x squared plus x is x. And if we multiply x by 2x, we get 2x squared, and x by 1, we get x. So I recognize that this denominator, 2x squared plus x, is simply the product of x, and 2x plus 1, which is a multiple of itself. So in other words, uh, we have x and 2x plus 1 is a multiple of all three denominators. Why, why is that so helpful? Well, when we multiply it out, we're going to cancel. In the first term here, we have 1 in our numerator, right? 1 times x times 2x plus 1. So we're going to multiply everything by that common factor, right? Over x minus 2 times that, 2 times x times 2x plus 1, over 2x plus 1, and finally, again, 1 times x times 2x plus 1, over 2x squared plus x. So again, all I did there is, is multiply everything by x and 2x plus 1. Now, uh, here we see that we have x divided by x is 1, and 2x plus 1 divided by itself is 1. And here, x times 2x plus 1 divided by itself is 1, right? These things are the same here. Even though they look different, the denominator is equal to the factored form of the uh, expanded form of the numerator. So now I have a much uh, more manageable equation. 2x plus 1 minus 2x equals 1. Combine like terms, 2x minus 2x is 0, and I get 1 equals 1. So this tells me that um, this equation is balanced, right, or it's true for all values of x. But we have to be careful here because, like I said earlier, with x in the denominator, um, it's possible to get extraneous solutions. In other words, solutions that look real but are not. And this one is, in fact, true for all values of x, except for 2. x cannot equal 0. If x is 0, look at this term right here. We have 1 divided by 0, and that would be undefined. The other value, now sometimes you have to go through and kind of sift it out. But the question is, is there a value for x where 2x plus 1 equals 0? And you might see that automatically, but we can also figure it out. We can say, when, when does 2x plus 1 equal 0? We subtract 1 on both sides, and we divide by 2, and x equals negative 1 half. And that's true, because if x was negative 1 half, 2 times negative 1 half is negative 1, and negative 1 plus 1 is also 0. So that's another value of x that we can't have here. So you sometimes might have to go through and test it for all denominators, but we just want to make sure that we don't just say, OK, it's going to work for all values of x. Well. That, that would be true ordinarily in a linear equation, except here x is the, the denominator, right? If you solve for x and find that you end up with a statement like this, where 1 equals 1, which is always true, that means the initial equation is also always true, except here for two instances where x is equal to 0, that's a problem, and also where x is negative 1 half. So we say it's balanced for all values of x except for those two. All right, hope this helped.